The local economy, new businesses, Tulsa's entire future could be at stake, says Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett, if state lawmakers don't make education a top priority. Whenever we bring somebody into Tulsa to look at Tulsa for economic development opportunities, to grow a new business here, or to expand what they presently have here, Within an hour, one of the first questions they ask is, how is your school system? In an unprecedented move, Bartlett, along with superintendents from all three Tulsa County Public School Districts, signed a written request for state lawmakers to save education. The resolution asks for increased funding for elementary and secondary schools. If there is no new money that is put into uh, the education funding formula for next year, the allocations really will be devastating for schools. And time is ticking. That's why the city is rushing to get this resolution into the hands of lawmakers before the budget is finalized. I heard this morning that the governor is going to be meeting with um, legislators today to go over the final budget. And so that's why we're headed down the turnpike to see if we can catch them. The $6.6 .6 billion budget calls for major cuts to public education. Cuts Tulsa school leaders say will hurt students and the state. It astonishes me that any legislator could look at the potential of bringing new business into our state without examining very carefully appropriate funding for public education. City leaders hope other local governments will unite and sign similar resolutions. Patricia Santos, 2 News, works for you. Supported by an educational